microchips implanted in human bodies could transform the way we tackle many everyday tasks. Some workers in Sweden are already developing and volunteering, volunteering rather, to have chips injected into their hands. The technology can make some tasks easier and reduce the amount of personal items employees need to carry. John Blackstone looks at the controversial trend and how it could put your privacy at risk. In a Stockholm business complex, employees gain access not with key cards, but with a wave of a hand. This is something that you can use just like a key badge. And At a recent tech them. conference, Hannes Schoblad explained how a microchip implanted in his hand makes his life easier. It replaces all the keys and cards that used to clutter his pockets. I use this many times a day. For example, to unlock my smartphone, to open the door to my office. Schoblad calls himself a biohacker. We biohackers, we think that the human body is a good start but there is certainly room for improvement. The first step in that improvement is getting a microchip about the size of a grain of rice slipped under the skin. Suddenly, the touch of a hand is enough to tell the office printer this is an authorized user. It felt pretty scary, but at the same time, it felt very modern. The microchips are radio frequency identification tags, the same technology widely used in things like key cards. The chips have been implanted in animals for years to help identify lost pets. Now the technology is moving to humans. A tech startup called Dangerous Things has sold tens of thousands of implant kits for humans, some to tech companies in Europe. Showblood even organizes implant parties where people can bond over getting chipped together. I love gadgets and uh, now I kind of feel like I'm a gadget myself. Even a car door can be tweaked to open with a touch, but each touch leaves a digital footprint and that can compromise privacy. It also seems to be one thing if retailers can track me on my phone to see if they can get me to buy some socks or underwear. It's a different thing if my employer can see where I am, see what I'm doing when I'm off the job. This is serious stuff. We're talking about a nonstop potential connection to my body. I can't turn it off. I can't put it away. It's in me. That's a, that's a big problem. Even a dedicated biohacker has concerns. It's very easy to hack a chip implant. So my advice is don't put your life secrets on a chip implant. Somebody put an implant inside me. I found it this morning. Back in 2004, the Manchurian candidate suggested a future where humans are chipped and controlled. We have been warned. It's about educating the people and giving every person the tools, not only how to use the technology, but more importantly, when it's being used against you. But biohackers also predict the next generation of chips will save lives by monitoring health and fitness. For now, being chipped means never having to say you're sorry you forgot your key card. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco. I'm fascinated by this. I've, I've always thought it was the future, that it would carry your medical records, mm -hmm. that it could track your fitness, that it could, that you could buy your groceries with it. Right, like an Apple Pay or something. I'm I've, all in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm skeptical. I'm scared of becoming a cyborg, but if you guys go first, I'll join you.